Shalom Mishpacha, this is Rabbi Esther from a small sanctuary and we are going to be washing Talitot today. Look at this beautiful homemade crocheted Talit bag I made quite a few years ago. So we're going to take out our Talitot and pay special attention to the neckband, the Atara, that you can see here. Because it's close to your skin, it tends to get grubby the most. So when you are laundering your Talitot, you want to pay attention to that. As well with a Talit Katan, the armholes are obviously going to be the part that you want to watch out. So look at that, make sure that gets a good clean as well. All you need for this tutorial is some Woolite or an equivalent hand washable detergent for sensitive clothing items and some warm water. Warm but not hot so that it can still be handled by normal touch. Otherwise you might singe your garments, especially if they're made from wool. You're going to immerse your garments in the water. Make sure those soapy suds get everywhere and that the garments are fully immersed. And then you're just going to let it sit for 30 minutes, an hour or longer if you prefer, until all the dirt gets dislodged and starts staining the water. Then you will know that it's time to start rinsing them out and changing over the water two or three times at least in order to get all the dirt out. While it is true that you usually wear a talit over your normal clothes, they do get dusty and grubby with wear, especially when there is contact with your skin around your neck, your arms, your hands, etc. As well as your head, especially when you put your talit over your head during prayer. You're going to flat dry it, that's really important and let the sun and the wind do the rest. Make sure to check your tzitzit. They tend to get dislodged a little bit, the knots can get undone, so it's worth paying special attention to that. The next day, I put them out flat on a clean table, and it was time to take a steam iron to them. I use a fairly cool iron, use the silk or wool setting, no hotter than that, especially with a woolen or a synthetic talit and then just start ironing out the creases believe it or not i don't actually own an ironing board a fact i'm pretty proud of considering i do manage to appear professional for most of my life and so i used a towel instead it worked fine it wasn't as good as an ironing board but it worked fine for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm ironing it here, paying special attention to the atara and to the confot, to the crown or the neckband and the corners as well. And I really feel like this is such holy work, maintaining our juneika, maintaining our ritual objects in good condition is part of hidur mitzvah, of beautification of the mitzvah. This talit is 20 years old and becoming increasingly fragile. It has been used very intensively and it is very dear and near to my heart. I'll tell you a little bit more about this talit and the many adventures it has been on a little further on this video. I iron it and despite its vintage and well-worn charm, it looks fresh and clean and crisp. Unfold the talit and grab it by the neckband, the atara, and turn the atara towards you. Say the blessing. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kitzanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu v'hitatev v'tzitzit. Throw the talit across your shoulders, much like a bath towel, and make sure to wrap your head and the fringes around your body in order to fulfill the mitzvah lehita tev batzitzit to enshroud yourself in tzitzit. Then settle the talit on your shoulders and I will teach you the flip. Here is a little bonus tutorial. I get a lot of questions 
not necessarily on how you put on the talit initially with regards to saying the blessing and wrapping yourself in it, but I do get some questions. How do you get these panels to stay on your shoulders? Especially as a small shouldered person, they tend to slip off a little. So it's all about the technique. Even people with narrow shoulders like myself can wear a talit gadol like this. And slippage, as you see happening here, is perfectly normal. You can resolve that a little bit by wearing a talit clip, which pins it like this with a connecting chain, but I tend to not do that. So the trick is after you have blessed the talit and you've settled it on your shoulders like this, make sure that the atara, the neck part, is fully aligned with your neck and sitting properly on your shoulders. Then the trick is to grab each corner. You let the corners hang down like this and you see each corner. Don't grab it on the corner proper, but next to the corner. You're going to grab the wing of the talit, the kanaf of the talit, like that. You can do that for both. When you've grabbed these corners, you're going to flip it around your shoulders, kind of like a bathrobe or a towel. Turn, flip, draw. Turn, flip, and draw. And then you pull it over your shoulders like that. And then naturally you're going to have these folds. You can perfect the ways the folds sit a little bit like that, but that is really how simple it is. Another trick to keep in mind is balancing the talit against its own weight. So if your corners here are too far back like this, the talit will slip because of its weight. So if they're too much to the front, it also is unbalanced. So you want to find whatever balancing point is comfortable for you. I tend to think that is midway around the waistline like this. If you want to increase the durability of your folds, you can flip them and fold them while they are on your shoulders. The more folds, the more secure. And if you really want to secure it, you can crunch them up and make sure that they are not hanging over your shoulders. But if they do hang over your shoulders, it makes for a pleasing aesthetic. And that is how you keep a talit on your shoulders. I hope this is helpful. Talit story time. I got this talit 20 years ago at a little Judaica store in Europe where they only had a few choices. And I got the distinct feeling that I was one of the few women buying a talit there. And it was pretty terrifying, but I got through it. This talit has traveled all over. It's been to the Arctic Circle. It's been to Cuba. It's been to Israel. It's been to the United States and beyond. I wore it on the morning of my wedding. I wore it on the morning of my ordination. It has seen a lot of tears and laughter and joy and hope and deep contemplation. I love this talit. Thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Shalom uvracha from my bite to your bite.